Hello, it's me again. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is another uh, video series uh, of our ophthalmic skills exam. Okay, my name is Dr. Alarita. I'm one of the senior residents in ophthalmology at McGill University. And today we'll be uh, doing the fundoscopy, the direct fundoscopy exam. This uh, video uh, basically is geared towards medical students, other junior residents, and uh, staff physicians in emergency medicine or family medicine, just to show them the basics of the eye exam and uh, you know throw in a few tips and tricks there that we find useful when you're examining the eye okay so i hope you enjoy the video and uh, next we'll get started i'll show you the the instrument okay and how to use it so basically most uh you know uh, exam rooms have some type of wall mounted direct fundoscope sometimes they have one that's portable this one happens to have one that's has a cable here and so i'm going to show you the basics of the direct fundoscope so basically there's different functions that can be used so as I turn this dial on the front you can see I can go from a very small spot of light to a larger spot of light okay the small one is valuable when you're testing a patient who's not dilated you're worried about pupillary constriction and where you won't get a good view of the posterior pore or the back of the eye then you want to use a small light basically if, if the patient dilates you can use a larger light like this here okay um, that'll give you a better field of view and wider wider uh, focus and then basically um, as you keep moving the dial there's actually a green light this again is the red free filter to look at uh, blood okay as i move it on you can see there's one here what this is basically is a little target okay this we use sometimes to measure lesions on the cornea okay and uh, again you have your larger beam okay so usually the standard um, I use is like the smaller one here or a larger beam okay so that's basically what uh, what that does here this center knob next I want to draw your attention to this knob right here so what this is basically is a wheel that you can turn and what this does is actually changes the prescription okay um, of the lens inside here so what it does it adjust for your prescription and the patient's prescription so basically what you'll see is a little window on the bottom here. Most units have this little window here. And as I turn it, you can see that the color and the numbers change within there, okay? So here, I'm just gonna dial it down. So here I'm at zero, okay? And if I dial it basically clockwise, I go to plus two, plus three, plus four. If I dial it in the opposite direction, I go to minus one, minus two, minus three, okay? And so you can actually dial in your prescription, okay? So what I commonly do is I start at zero because I'm wearing my glasses, and with zero, I should be able to get a good view, and I can always dial in my prescription as I examine the patient, and I'll show you how I can uh, fine tune that, uh, that adjustment, okay? This is for uh, the examiner to place their brow on. You're gonna look through here, and then you're gonna basically examine the patient now, okay? Okay, perfect, so now I'm ready to examine my patient, okay? So I magically have Ali here, he just appeared. Uh, he's our amazing medical student. He's gonna give me a hand, he's gonna be our patient for the day. So basically, uh, I wanna get him in position, okay? Whenever you're doing the direct fundoscopy exam, you wanna have the patient standing straight, okay? And looking again in the distance, okay? You want him to be focusing at something, for example, on the wall there, okay? So look straight there, don't move, keep both, both eyes open nice and wide, okay? I'm going to hold uh, my direct fundoscope in the right hand. Now, very important again is to make sure that when you're testing the patient's right eye, that you are also basically using your right eye. Okay? So you want the same eye for same, same, same. Okay? Because if I use my left eye, it's not going to be very pleasant. Okay? For the patient. We're going to get a little too close for comfort. So, right eye, right eye. Okay? So, I'll have him look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. What I like to do to start is I actually place my thumb over the brow, my hand over the head again to stabilize, okay? Again, make sure this is on zero, okay? I think for everyone it's best to leave it on zero. You don't want to be calculating your prescription because it would be too difficult, so keep it on zero. And what I do is when I first want to get a focus on the back of the eye, I actually place my, again, my thumb here and I look, okay? And I stand about 45 degrees to the patient. I look through and what I do is I focus right on the pupil and I look for a, a vessel, for example. And what I do is I want that vessel to become nice and clear and crisp, okay? So I dial in my prescription, so I move clockwise, and it's actually getting more blurry, so I know that's the wrong direction. So I go now in the opposite direction, counterclockwise. So as I move it counterclockwise, it's getting more clear. So I keep kind of fidgeting and playing around with the dial until I can see uh, the structures very clearly then I know that's the right prescription so now it's nice and clear I can see vessels clearly so I know I have my right prescription that way there's no guessing okay so now I'm ready to examine the fundus look at the optic nerve and check the back of the eye so again 
look straight ahead please both eyes open and I want to look find that red reflex okay compare both eyes okay make sure the red reflex is symmetrical in both eyes this is very important in children when you're looking for you know retinoblastoma or uh, what we call leukocoria like a white pupil very important to look for the red reflex okay and see if it's abnormal so here he's got a symmetrical red reflex which looks great now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a vessel and I'm gonna follow it okay so I'm gonna move in nice and closely 45 degrees I'm following that vessel as I follow that vessel I'm gonna slowly turn and I slowly turn toward the center okay so I'm facing him and boom there I am right on the optic nerve and I have a beautiful view of his optic nerve I can see the margins of the nerve and what you want to comment on is the contours make sure it has smooth contours okay make sure there's no pallor you want to, the rim of the optic nerve to be pink okay very important if you see any pallor you want to comment on where the pallor is Look at the cup to disc ratio. Okay, comment on that. Make sure there's no blurred margins. You want a nice crisp disc, very important. Okay, look at the vessels leaving the disc, okay? And finally, what I have them do is actually, I'm, can you look right at me, please? Have the patient look right at you. And when they look right at you, they're using their central vision, they're actually using their macula. So you'll be able to see uh, a bit of the macula as well. So that's it. That's the exam, you do the same for the left eye, okay? It's not very difficult, you know? And uh, yeah, I think it's a very, very crucial test. Even for you know someone like you know who is doing a neurology rotation, I think it's great to be able to assess the optic nerve and to look for signs of swelling of the optic nerve, optic nerve edema, papillitis. If you, you know there's raised intracranial pressure, you want to look for papillary edema. Okay, um, these are all very important signs. Okay, so this test is very important, and uh, hopefully with this video you'll be able to learn the skills to master direct phonoscopy. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, until next time, take care. Thank you. All right. Well, we wanted to thank you, uh, the team here, for watching our videos. And we hope you enjoyed them. Uh, hopefully, by watching these videos, you'll get a better grasp of the uh, ophthalmic exam. And you'll be able to perfect your skills as you practice uh, with many of the instruments. And, uh, yeah, look forward to uh, more videos. Stay tuned. Thank you. Saving eyes and saving lives.